Hi guys! Today I am showing out my summer to fall transition everyday makeup routine. This is definitely my go-to look. I just think it's perfect for this time of year. So if you want to see how I get this look, go keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye beautiful! To start this look off, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. To prime my eyelids, I am using MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Painterly, and I'm using a Real Technique sponge to apply this. Using the same sponge, I am using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and I'm in the shade Porcelain. For my crease shadows, I'm using the Lorac Unzipped Palette, and the first shade I'm going in with is Unconditional. The next shadow that I'm blending into my crease is the shade Unspoken. For all over my lid, I've been loving the sample that I received at Sephora. It's by Buxom and it is the Mink Magnet shade. taking my blending brush and blending that all together with no additional product on the brush. To deepen the color on the outside of my eye, I'm using my favorite shade from the palette. It is Unbridled. And I'm just taking a smaller blending brush and putting this in the outer V and into my crease. For concealer, I've recently switched to the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Concealer. This is the shade Light Neutral. I have really been liking this concealer. And I pretty much put this underneath my eyes, around my nose, and on my chin, or anywhere I have a breakout. Then I go back through and put a highlighting shade over that to brighten. Of course, to blend this out, I'm using the same blending sponge by Real Techniques. before I go back over with a highlighting shade and this is from the Cover FX Cream Contour Palette and this is number one. <music> to set my concealer and make sure it looks bright and glowy all day, I've been using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I use the middle shade Incandescent Light. You do want to be careful that you don't use too much since this is a highlighter. You can look very shiny really fast. To set my entire face, I have been using the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. For bronzer, I have been loving once again the Lorac Tantalizer Highlight and Matte Bronzer Duo. I used two Bobbi Brown products. I used the Maui Bronzing Powder in the Shimmer Brick and Pink Quartz. The highlighter I used is from Laura Mercier and it's Highlight 01. The mascara duo that I used is Kardashian Beauty Stroke of Midnight and Rimmel London Lash Accelerator. For setting spray, I've been loving the NYX Dewy Finish. The lip combo I used for this look is MAC Myth and Urban Decay Kinky. 